you guys want to play and have fun with your boys. But was it worth for today's energy? At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. I'll give you guys my. You as bad down there as I was down here. You guys are not bad. Like if they're going through your leg, oh, I would have sat on the goal line, and I would have stopped pucks from there. I think the fire was on the back of Travis's neck out there. Do you think a fire will cover the warranty of my stick? So we're in the midst of a fire evacuation. We think the building's on fire. Hopefully, like best case, uh, no, there's a fire and we go home. Because uh, I was doing terrible with the skate, so. I'm wondering, because my stick was about to break while we were out there, if a fire will be covered under warranty. It's definitely something to ask, I think. If there's a fire, I might go back in there and make sure the sticks are the center of it. Well, while I have you here, I'd like to talk to you about today's sponsor for today's video. When you have a wallet this good looking, the Ridge Wallet, you can get a lot of cash in there. It's the slimmest looking wallet. Great style. You know what? I was actually looking into these. I think these are money. What do you think of that? It's phenomenal. <laughs> what do you think of the quality? I want one so badly. If you go to the link in the description at ridge.com slash and use the promo code TRAVSUCKS, you can save 10% of a Ridge Wallet. They are awesome, slim fitting, stylish, comfortable and lightweight. I highly recommend you pick one up. Thanks to the folks at Ridge for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> so the fire drill was a uh, farce alarm. Nobody was on fire. I don't think so. I wish when you would drop in your butterfly, your heels wouldn't come in. Okay. Yeah. I, I wish it would stay out flared. And I'm gonna ask you guys this, and I want you guys to take it for what's, what it's worth. You guys wanna play and have fun with your boys playing men's league. But was it worth last night's game for today's energy? Right, so we have to think bigger picture. Are we still having fun or are we training with a purpose? We can't get games during the Rona. I thought the men's league game is good to kind of put everything to use. I, I, yeah, I completely understand. You said I you're stopping like, more. I thought they were shooting at happening when I was on the goal line. So I don't have to move as much. What's the key word? Right, you're not putting yourself out of position. I think when you're back there, you're having to focus a little more on, I gotta stop the puck because I'm playing deeper. You guys don't feel it in the morning. Grab yourself something to drink. Even if it's a little bit of caffeine. No. Six yeah. out of ten, baby. How f drunk are you right now? Six out of ten. But we've got to figure out a way to how to get to our best. And I think today was kind of one of those mornings. I remember my first pro game. Our bus broke down and I was starting that night. Not everything is going to be drawn out perfectly. Let's learn from this. gym I work out at to a place called Steinbach. So I drive an hour here, an hour back so I can work out three days a week. And I do that because of synthetic ice studio in the rinks. I work on puck and other things after I work out. I don't wait for the guy to come let me in. This is uh, something called Amino IQ I got in here. It's not like a pre-workout. I find for all my workouts and my ice times, it really helps me focus, gets me dialed in. And I usually put ice in it before I go because it's one of the most refreshing things ever. Some fresh ice in your drink. One downside being that when I finally put it in my mouth, my sensitive teeth absolutely explode with pain. I'm bored in this parking lot. We got a stud here on set. 14 year old WHL draft pick. Kid's like 10 years younger than me. I don't know if I'm allowed to have him in the building with me or drive him in the same car, but he's a stud. You should follow him up at Ryland Gould and he's gonna be making a lot of money one day. So I gotta keep him very happy here in the vlog. Oh 
like to tell you that. I'm excited, but I'm kind of nervous. I'm nervous. nervous. Oh, yeah, I've never been over to Europe and first time playing over there and all that kind of stuff. Oh, here is very hard. That's good, that's good, yeah. yeah that's good. I've been doing acupuncture for four years, give or take, with this this one dog. Highly recommend anybody do acupuncture if you're having problems as far as like goaltending and whatnot. Save my career. I'm telling you, if you haven't done acupuncture before, you better start doing it. It's just a good place to come relax and kind of chill out, to be honest with you. I know that kind of sounds dumb, but you pay to go chill out, but highly recommend acupuncture if you have the chance to do it. What? Culinary Corner was a smashing success last time we did it. We did two recipes. I have a special guest chef I'd like to welcome to the program. It's me. It's been the Culinary Corner. Does Trav show up to all his dates like this? <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, the Culinary Corner is back. Today we're doing a protein taco salad and a protein bazooki. I think you're going to enjoy. Let's begin. First up, protein taco salad. So you're going to get yourself a pan over medium heat. Now, here is a chicken titty that I pounded last night and has been seasoned liberally with salt and pepper. You're going to add some oil to the pan. You're going to let her cook for about two to three minutes until golden brown. Let her go for another two to three minutes. Done. Let her rest. Next up, we got our special taco sauce, which includes two tablespoons of usually sugar-free ketchup. Didn't have any tonight. We're going two tablespoons of mustard. I personally like honey Dijon, but it's 2020. Don't let me tell you how to live your life. Now, before you call me fat for putting one tablespoon of mayonnaise in, wait for me to put two heaping tablespoons of salsa in then you're gonna stir everything up you got some taco sauce ready to make taco salad next you're gonna whack up a nice handful of lettuce and then you're gonna add about a hundred grams of mexican spice taco beef i added some cumin chili powder salt pepper now i personally like my meat hot so i let chef mike take me to the promised land and it only took about 30 seconds take 30 grams of cheddar cheese followed by one bag of quest protein chips these things are awesome high in protein low in carbs low in calories this is why it's called a protein taco salad no i'm not sponsored by quest i just think they make awesome products so you're gonna add everything together mix her up now i thought it'd be funny to plate this on this plate that i found in my date's cupboard she painted when she was nine years old but i, I up, so i had to move everything over to another plate without further ado i'd like to introduce you to this evening's food critic one bite that's the rule mm, that's pretty tasty you actually mean it yeah i do genuinely i like it maybe like 7.3. Well, let's try to get a new food critic for next time, eh? Next up, we have a protein bazooki. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a baked cookie in pizza format with ice cream on top. Two Quest protein cookies, the chocolate chip kind. I put them in the oven for about two to three minutes at 350 degrees. Now, we ran into a slight issue. Tonight's food critic was supposed to pick up some Halo Top protein ice cream on the way home. Couldn't find it when she was going to look. So, it is now bulking season and it's no longer cutting season because we are going to be stuck using Ben and Jay's. Now, assuming I was using Halo Top ice cream, which is what I usually do, you're going to have about 380 calories for the whole thing, 50 grams grams of carbs, 30 grams of protein. I typically use Halo Top, didn't have any, so this is what we we're doing. One of us is getting diabetes, one of us isn't. Speaking of which, let's go to her food review. Cookie not bad. It doesn't taste like a like a cookie cookie. Since I'm trying to bulk up, it's perfect for me. I give the cookie about a like 6.2 maybe. It's not a cookie cookie, but with the with the Ben and Jay's it really probably steps it up to like a 7.4. Okay, so you like this better than taco salad? Oh man, it's a cookie. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Brock Gould. Rylan Gould. What? Rylan. Wasn't, oh, your brother's name's Brock, right? No, it's Nathan. What the, who, who's Brock then? <laughs> is it a horse? Yeah, it's two horses. What's the horse wearing? It's not wearing anything, it just has a braided mane, okay? That's I was braided. nine. I hope you wash your hands. That'd be a good time to tell you I have coronavirus. <laughs> is it transferable like this? Why do you think people wash their hands all the time? Yeah. 